Welcome to the channel, human. Doom Patrol Season 1. This show is crazy, but it's brilliant. You have the Chief Niles, who brings all these wonderful characters together based on their tragic backgrounds. You, um, In the case of Robot Man, you know, he was a very good race car driver. He got into a bad accident, and the Chief was able to save his brain and put it in a robotic body. You have Negative Man, who used to be an Air Force pilot, and he got into a very bad plane crash, and a bunch of negative energy went into his body. His body's all burnt up. He has to wear the bandages. And the negative energy, uh, negative spirit, if you will, can come out of Negative Man's body and act on his own. It's like pretty trippy. And then you have Crazy Jane. She has tons and tons of personalities. Each personality comes with a power set of its own. And it's really cool to see her go through all her transformations and stuff like that. They spend a lot of time uh, looking at her character and all the things she can do. And then you have Cyborg. Um, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with him if you're a DC fan. At least you know the basics. A uh, very talented athlete, specifically at football. And he was on his way, going to do big things in the realm of football. And then one day, he was in a laboratory with uh, one of his parents. And then an accident happened. And, um, you know, Vic's father had to basically repair his son with robotic parts. And then that's how uh, he becomes cyborg. It was done to save his life, because otherwise he would have died. And Rita... You know, uh, she's an old school actress and uh, she was one of the best of the best. You know, like when it when you think about like really good actresses, Rita was at the top of uh, of the charts, top of her game. And uh, she suffered from a very fucked up accident, which allows her skin to kind of morph and stretch into these crazy positions and she can appear very beautiful in one minute and then another minute her fucking skin starts dripping and shit and uh the chief he's extremely intelligent he is what i consider to be a super genius but the chief has some shady fucked up characteristics about him and it plays into the show in terms of his involvement with all these different characters. You know, how does he know so much? How did he know what to do? Can you trust him? And then the villain of this season, Mr. Nobody, is just absolutely brilliant. He is a perfect villain. You're talking about a villain who could break the fourth wall. So think about Deadpool, but times five. And um, the way he looks with his design, it's like he kind of Looks like there's a little bit of electricity, but he kind of looks like an unfinished CGI character in terms of his appearance. But this dude can alter reality. He knows the future. He can essentially do what he wants. And it was one of those things where I was watching it going, how the fuck are they going to beat him? You know, he's on a whole other level of power. How the fuck are these misfits going to beat him? And it's interesting to see how all that plays out. But you're talking about this show is very mature. It's off the wall weird. And it a lot of cursing. And it just things you see that you're like, what the fuck? But I'm familiar with the nature of this weirdness because I've read a handful of uh, Doom Patrol comics. So I am aware of its sort of Adam, Adam's family kind of vibe going on. You know, they really are um, the strangest team in comic books. I mean, the Doom Patrol is just, it's crazy as hell. And this show does a good job of adapting all of that craziness. But it's coupled with really good writing that makes you think. You know, so you do have to think when you watch this show. But you can really laugh and appreciate the weirdness and the silliness that comes along. But none of those things sacrifice intelligent storytelling it's really deep too at the end of the day you know stuff that gets you to reflect on what real humanity is and what it means to have a family and what happens when you're alone in the world versus when you're with family you know a lot of deeper uh meanings within the context of this particular show and this season so i enjoyed season one between uh our strange heroes, if you will, and the villain, Mr. Nobody, just a crazy ass personality like the Doom Patrol can't stop me. I know everything. I know what they're going to do before they do it. And it's like, man, this villain is fucking hacked. But I enjoyed the hell out of this.
Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And until next time, Terrence out.